Hey guys, my name is Shreyas and welcome to Simple Biology. Today we're going to be going ahead and uh, recapping on evolution and getting the main ideas down before you watch or before you take your test or before you go in and take the AP test. One big lesson that we have learned throughout the history of life and through this unit is that the origin of species has been affected by both small-scale factors, such as natural selection occurring in populations, and large-scale factors, such as continental drift and mass extinctions. The Nobel Peace Prize winner, Francis Jacobs, stated that evolution is a process of tinkering, a process in which new forms arise by the modification of existing structural existing structure or existing genes. Francis Jacob views um, on evolution goes back years and years before the concept of descent of modica modification from Charles Darwin. And it's this, as new species form, complex structures can arise as there's gradual modifications among ancestral structures. This can go from um, anything as simple as a human eye. The human eye has evolved through millions and millions of years of these gradual changes into uh, the thing it is today. Overall, from the patterns of macroevolution, the evolution of species on a much broader scale, we can learn a lot about how the world has evolved over time. As we wrap up this unit, you should realize that evolution is a result of the interactions between the organism and its current environment. If the environment changes, then the evolutionary trend can completely change. This cumulative effect of ongoing interactions between organisms and their environment is measured on a very large scale. It is through evolution that the staggering diversity of life has arisen. As we uh, complete this evolution unit, we hope that you've learned how the theory of evolution has varied from different scientists, how Charles Darwin researched evolution for decades just to provide evidence for the origin and modifications of life. We also hope you learned how different factors and conditions can occur and cause the everlasting concept of evolution or descent with modification. And if you understand all of that, then you're ready to go and take that test. But that's it for now. Evolution is as simple as that.